Hey everybody, today we're going to put in a backsplash in the kitchen and it's really cool. Here it is. It's, oh, it's metal. Isn't that cool? It's peeling stick so just peel the backing off and stick it up there. It's gonna look nice. But first I have to take off the outlet, uh, the mirror. There's an outlet there. I have to take that uh, window treatment off. So one of the first things I want to do is put some tape on the window here, or not the window, the mirror, to keep it from breaking when I take it off. Or it may not keep it from breaking, but it'll help prevent maybe it shattering a little bit. So I'm going to do that. We try to get the window, uh, the mirror off. So I've got a long framing square because it's rigid and it's flat and it's metal. And I'm gonna try to slide it in behind the glass. I like about these kind of tiles is you can cut them with a knife if you want to. So you just cut it and then you snap it off. You just, the first drag, you just go kind of lightly. Just stay on the line real carefully. And you, once you get that line made, then you can go through it a couple of times, the same line, to cut it deeper. And then you just take it and you 
snap it, cut it from the other side, it makes it a little bit safer. So I made a line, I measured from there, back there, a couple different times, and then I drew a line straight down to keep it lined up with the edge of the cabinet. Okay, the first step would be to take the backing off. Kind of got to make sure you get this right the first time because I don't think there's a second try at it. So I got the guidance line there. Yeah, that's stuck really well. And this is part of the slide out here, so this is kind of away from the wall a little bit. So I didn't bother cutting off the bottom of it. It goes down far enough where you can't see it, so cutting it off straight, but this is it's gonna look really good. Okay, so on a cut in the corner like that, before you pull the sticky stuff off the back, go ahead and dry fit it first to make sure it's going to fit. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> when I took the measurement, I measured from these outer ones to the corner and when I took the measurement off the new one I measured from the same outer ones when I should have measured from these inside ones to those instead so it gave me that gap that I didn't want but that's okay because I can use this piece and another piece right around the corner here out around the receptacle there. I've got it already marked on my sheet here. So now I'm just going to go cut it with a jigsaw. The way to do it is to without taking the outlet all the way, you know, disconnecting the power, you could just turn it like that at an angle and then slide it right over like that and then stick it. Okay, so I'm all done. That's what it looks like.